Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my current running favorites. I've been running for a total of nine years now. I've learned some things along the way and I'm just gonna show you what I found were my favorites so far. So I'm gonna start off with shoes. When I started running, I started wearing Asics. My body does not like Asics. I got shin splints from them and I actually purchased Asics twice. Never again will I do that. I didn't know why I had shin splints, but after I found out I was using the wrong shoes, I ventured out into different brands. Shoes are very important because when you go into the specifics, there are stability running shoes and neutral running shoes. If you over pronate or under pronate, you'll need a stability shoe, but even then, you have to look at what type of stability because some shoes have more stability on the outside and some shoes have more stability on the inside, depending on which way you pronate. It gets very technical, but it's not that hard to find the right shoe for you. I I found the right shoes when I went to a special running place called Roadrunner. There's also different options like Feet Fleet, Snail Space. I don't know if you've heard of those places before, but if you have any that are near you, definitely go to them because they'll run a quick test on your feet, a scan, or they'll just watch you run and see which way your ankle rolls or if it doesn't roll to see the best running shoe for you. Now that I'm done with the technical nerdy stuff, I'm going to show you what my favorite running shoes are. I have three different running shoes from three different brands and I really do love all of them. The first ones I'd say are Hoka, the Hoka Clifton 9s. When you get a new pair, they feel like clouds, but I feel like every three months I need to switch them out and that's with any running shoe not just these only because the amount of mileage I put on them there's a lot of wear and tear and as you can see I even like the rubber right here is starting to pick off the traction is getting dull and I just use them until I feel the floor and I was already feeling the floor with these so I would say they're light enough they are super cushiony which is what I love the most I found that I need neutral running shoes for my feet stability just injured me every time I have pretty narrow feet and honestly they're not too wide on me but I recommend them to my sister and she has wide feet and they did her just fine if you have narrow wide feet I'd say you are good to purchase these my next favorite running shoe is they're the ghost bricks GTS 15s. They're kind of the newer model. The first model I ever got were the 13s or the 12s. The first thing that I thought when I started running on these was they were springy. I love it when my running shoes are springy because it just it makes me feel like Mario and I could go faster. I've never had an issue with them. My first half marathon I ran in these shoes. I was good. I was just normal sore and achy because I ran a half marathon. I don't know if this is a weird thing but I like like that the shoelaces are long because I do use the runners knot on all my shoes that I get and whenever the shoelaces are too short it's kind of hard to do that only because you're using the extra length for the special knot. I have really no complaints about these. They are a 10 out of 10 which is why they're one of my favorites. I also recommended these to all my sisters and they all love them just the same. They do last a long time. I feel like they might last me a little longer than the Hoka's. Comparing them to the Hoka's cushion is way more foam like and this cushion is way more sturdy the next running shoe that i'm gonna show right here is from nike the trail 4 gore-tex honestly these are the grippiest shoes out of all three in my opinion and they make me feel like a frog when i ran just because they are so grippy i've used them on the dirt i've used them on the street i've used them on the sidewalk of course and i've used them on grass as of right now i don't have any complaints about them but i do notice about them versus the other running shoes I just showed you was the cushion is more focused on the heel side rather than the toe side and these shoes run more narrow so if you have a wide foot the tongue might annoy you but these shoes are very sock like I would say I love that it goes up to the ankle because it really hugs it for me at least I've noticed my socks fall less with these I honestly really love them they have like good flex but not too much let me show you the difference between all of them when they flex 
So it just really depends on what you're training for, how you're running, what you're running. It all depends on how you want to use your shoes. I love these the most and these are the shoes that I do rotate with. I have not gone injured since I've been using these shoes so definitely would recommend. I'm going to move on to equipment or apparel. I don't know how you would want to say that. I really love this next purchase. At first I really thought it was unnecessary just to waste the money. There was no point in it. <laughs> I used to run all my runs with me carrying my keys in my hand, my phone in my hand, but my sister was scrolling on TikTok and she was telling me about running belts. I was so stubborn and I didn't purchase one for the longest time, but I actually recently just purchased this one and it's on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. It looks tiny, which is one of the reasons why I was pushing back on purchasing it, but when you open it, it literally has so much space in both sides like this little pocket i can fit my keys i can fit my pocket knife i can fit my cards which gives me space on this side to just put all the snacks i want along with my phone on my runs that are eight miles or less i love to take this and on my runs that are 10 miles plus i love my water pack vest. So both of these purchases are from Amazon. I looked for the most affordable ones. This would probably be like 40 bucks somewhere, but I got it for 13. <laughs> and this running vest, people sell them for $100 plus, and I got this for like $50. They're still really practical and I love them so much. I never drank water on my runs. After I realized how unhealthy that was, I invested in a water pack. It has so many pockets. It has a pocket here. It has pockets in the front. It has this zip pocket, this bungee pocket, and this loose pocket up front. Then the most important part is this water bag. This water bag is actually super easy to clean. I need to clean it. It holds 1.5 liters. Honestly, that's all I need. On the day of my 50K, I do plan on taking both my water pack and my running belt because I'm just gonna need the most space that I can pack for the most snacks that I can bring. Now I'm going to go into the next favorites, which is the goose. I never even knew these things existed before until I started seeing a bunch of stuff on TikTok. I do really like these. The only complaint that I would have would be that they're really sticky and thick. When I'm running a lot and trying to run it fast, you know, you get cotton mouth and cotton mouth plus something that is hard to swallow is not the best combination. But they have 450 milligrams of amino acids, 55 milligrams of sodium, no caffeine. They do have different flavors. I have the orange. I have the strawberry banana. I have the jet blackberry. This one is actually my favorite, the lemon sublime. And then I also have the salted watermelon. These two are my favorite, the salted watermelon and the lemon sublime, just because they're the most refreshing in flavors. What I do want to purchase though are the honey stinger. They look like crackers. I don't know really what they are. I'm going to do my research into them. I want to purchase those because I see a lot of people rave about them. Another one of my running favorites is my Apple Watch. So if you're a runner, you know you need a watch because you need to track your miles. But I like the Apple Watch because I can directly upload my runs to Strava right after. I did used to have a Garmin watch, but it was one of the older Garmin watches. I'll put a picture here somewhere. And I didn't really love it because I also didn't really know how to use it. I would log it manually because I didn't have an app that was able to connect to it on my phone. I'm just unmotivated to go and buy a Garmin watch again just because of that. But moving on, for apps that I like to log my runs on is Strava. It seems to be the most simple app to me. It has different challenges within the running community or biking community or whatever you like to do. I log almost everything. It's almost an addiction at this point. I've been using it for seven years now. I tried using the Nike app and I didn't love it at all. I don't know why I just didn't. It 
was more complicated to me than the Strava app. Same thing with the health app on iPhone. Every time I'd save or run, I'd have to really dig for it. And so I just like the simplicity of the Strava app and it's really helped me. I would say something about the Nike app is that you can make your own workouts there. You can use it to help pace you and it also shows up super simple on the Apple Watch too. So I would say I do like the Nike app for when I wanna have a really structured sprint workout, but for long runs, I just find it kind of unnecessary if that makes sense but then again if i did do a sprint workout on the nike app i'd also log it on the strava app just because strava is my favorite <laughs> my last running favorites would be my oakley's i really love these things because i do get seasonal allergies my eyes they just burn so much in the spring and summertime i really needed <laughs> something just to protect them even from the sun because i was crying all the time and i couldn't see but these really helped me a lot and also last thing my favorite scrunchies are just these little goodie bands because they're just like super elastic they last a long time they don't rip on me they don't pull my hair so i personally love these a lot i also love to use headbands but i also get those from amazon they just literally do their job and that's it Alrighty, that's pretty much it for my current running favorites please let me know in the comments down below if you have running favorites that i didn't list here just so that i can try them out and then give my feedback on how i liked them in another video thank you so much for watching and hope you guys come back next time